به آفتاب سلامی دوباره خواهم داد به جوی بار که در من جاری بود به ابرها که فکرهای طبیلم بودند به رشد دردناک سپیدارهای باغ که با من از فصلهای خشک گذر می کردند We meet up with Puran Farrokhzad at the premiere of a film. She's a poetry scholar from one of Iran's most creative families. The film is about her sister, Farooq Farrokhzad, the country's most beloved feminist poet. Farooq's poetry was banned for years for its sensuality. In general, all Iranians are in love. In other words, hot-blooded. The reason is the sun that shines directly over Iran. And when the sun shines so strongly, the cells move more rapidly. And when they move more rapidly, love is more passionate. And when love is more passionate, it gives rise to poetry. In reality, most Iranians are poets, even those street peddlers who during my childhood sold radishes and ice cream. Their chants were rhythmic, and they spoke with poetry. Every day, people bribe the lady at the front gate of this private cemetery and visit Farooq's grave. She was killed in a car crash at 32. Farooq has come to represent the creative, self-determined life. My sister Farooq, in reality, started a new school of thought, meaning that for the first time in Iran, she wrote from a woman's perspective. Farooq speaks plainly and simply, and is frank and sincere. She's brave and candid. Eastern people, not just Iranians, but Easterners in general, always live under a kind of mask. They never show their true selves. But rather like an onion with many layers. You have to keep peeling away layer after layer to uncover the real person. What are some of the myths that you think the West has? When people from the West come to interview me, I've realized that they look at us from a different perspective, as if they have come to visit a woman from a thousand years ago. This is not the case at all. Well, we have certain rules here, and naturally, owing to our upbringing, we have learned to accept, have bowed to those rules. But the truth is something else. The intellectual aspect has always been more important to me. It's always during hard times, under pressure, that growth takes place. And the women in Iran have gone through an amazing period during these past 22, 23 years. In other words, they have taken an intellectual journey, meaning that in spite of the destiny that may have been decided for them, they went in the opposite direction and have achieved tremendous growth. Puran's brother, a popular performer and an out bisexual, was murdered a few years ago. Big news in Iran. My brother was the love of my life, and his sorrow is always with me. It's always alive with me. What do you fear? I'm not afraid of anything. I'm traveling a path. We create fear. It doesn't exist. It comes from our own weakness. I'm not weak, not at all. Not even my brother's death scared me. I grieved, but I wasn't frightened. I never fear. I think having poetry in the soul goes a long way toward living a fearless life, which can be tricky in the Islamic Republic. Mi ayam, mi ayam, mi ayam, bagi suyam. ادامه بوهای زیر خاک با چشم هایم تجربه های قلیز تاریکی با بوته ها که چیدم از بیشه های آن سوی دیوار